Hello and welcome to the Skilled Workers Get Jobs Quick Bite. Today's topic is the engaging classroom. And some of you might be thinking, well, why do I care if my students are engaged? My job is to teach them. Their job is to learn. And that probably is what happened when I was young and sitting in a row of desks and was expected to write down everything the teacher said and absorb it. And their job was to teach. Mine was to learn. But today's students are different. First of all, many of them do not see themselves as students. When I grew up, there was no doubt that I was going to school and finishing high school. That was my parents' expectation for me. But some people might be first-generation students who do not have role models in their family. This might be because their parents immigrated from another country. It might be because they were had were from a family that people did not finish high school. So we need to let students know what are we expecting and how can they be successful as a student. Also, a lot of times we have materials that might tend to focus on traditional students. This means that if you're teaching something in a STEM field, it might have more male role models and it might have more males featured for examples or how you do things. And the opposite can be true if you're teaching in a discipline that is traditionally female, such as cosmetology, it might be that a male student doesn't know how he fits in or works in the program. And if we think about it, what is our goal for our students? Obviously, we ultimately want them to graduate or be successful, but in your classroom, how is a student going to be successful? And it really is that they need to have a sense of belonging. If someone doesn't think that they belong someplace, it's really hard to get them engaged. Be honest with yourself. Have you ever skipped an event because you didn't feel like you belonged? Maybe it was a meeting after work. Maybe it was going someplace on the weekend. But it was really easy to say, I'm not going to know anyone. I don't know if anyone will talk to me. I think I'm going to skip the event. If we, who are professionals, feel that way, how might our students feel when they're coming into a classroom? Maybe they're going to be talking out of turn or acting up because they don't think anyone cares and they don't think they have the sense of belonging. My goals for students, first of all, I want them to know that questions are encouraged. I have a colleague who doesn't ask, do you have any questions? Instead, his is, what questions haven't I answered? Or what things haven't I explained well enough? He's letting them assume that he's going to have questions. Next, I want students to know I'm engaged. I want them to know that I'm the most excited person in the room about a topic. If I don't like what I'm teaching, how do I expect my students to like it? I want to establish a rapport. And I'm not friends with my students. I am their teacher, but I want them to know that I care, that questions are encouraged, that I'm going to respond in a timely manner. But I also do want to set expectations. We are preparing our students to go out into the workforce and be able to have jobs, be able to be successful in other classes. We have to let them know that there are expectations for them. This includes due dates. This includes how people are dressed. And it really goes to the last one of establishing a climate for a class. People can discuss items, but they need to do it with mutual respect. We don't interrupt people. We don't um, insult. These are expectations for my classroom that Part of it is I model the behavior so students know what I'm going to do. And the next is that if someone isn't following it, I don't call them out to embarrass them, but I do let people know that it isn't the appropriate action. This quick bite is brought to, brought to you by the Skilled Workers Get Jobs NSF ATE grant. We did not speak for NSF ATE, but our work was made possible because of our funding. If you have any questions or suggestions on this or any other quick bite, please email us and let us know. Thank you very much.